rent the large room in the library to sponsor myself a birthday party. And they said, if you're going to have a birthday party, we're going to give it to you. Well, I should tell you, this, this whole party that you're going to see in the book was a complete surprise. I had no idea that they were going to have a party for me. Over at the Council on Aging, Mary let us have the hall, and we had uh, probably 15 people. My I opened the door, and my mother sitting there in Pembroke. <laughs> Council on Aging, and I, after I got over that, I saw my brother and his wife there from Buzz's Bay, so this was a complete surprise, and, and as I looked around the room, I had to sit down then, because it really was a little overwhelming. This was my 80th birthday, and my friend Florence had put all this together with the help of her granddaughter, Jamie who did most of this photographing. All the little ladies and my friends put the food together. It takes a lot to shock me, but that did. And for once I was tongue-tied. I couldn't say anything. <laughs> and that was really something unusual. And I hope you will enjoy seeing the pictures in my book. And here we are. And here comes my friend Florence. She was just so happy to do this for me. It was uh, such a big part of our lives and we had so much fun together and to do this for me was a big thing for her too. And here's my little girls from Plymouth, my brother and his wife. It came up from Buzzards Bay and Connie Michaels. And the, my mother's in front of this gentleman to my right. Here's the little girls from Plymouth. My husband's daughter's girls. And here's her brother. My friend Connie Michaels in the background. My brother and my lady friends at the library, Susan, Debbie, and Ann came over from the library to be with us. And uh, I guess they're having a little bite with the rest of the girls and boys. And my two friends from Rockland, Lorraine and Fran Vinalia. And there's Beverly McKay she lived down off of West Street. And now we have a large group. There's Ida Benjamin in the front, and uh, I think Florence is with her. And then my friends and my son is the fellow that needs a little hip replacement, I believe. And Mary Willis, my COA director, and here we have Beverly McKay's back and my son, David. <laughs> and the girls from library again, and my two friends from Rockland. Uh, Jamie, my little camera girl, has walked all around the different tables and gotten some very nice pictures of all my friends. Ann and Bob Ryerson in the background and as she walks around, I try to, uh, Joe Collins was there with Mary, and uh, Bob Ryerson's back is to us here. And Mary looks a little bit tired, I think. Perhaps she had a busy day. And Joe Collins, Ann Ryerson. That's just water, I believe. <laughs> Connie Michaels 
And she had a little saying, a little poem she had written for me, which was nice. And Anne Ryerson did. And there's Frank Tobin and Marie Federico. Two more of my friends. And there's Elaine Cahill and her husband, Tom. I think he works at the, uh, it's doing something in the town hall. And Beverly McKay and my friend from Rockland, I believe they got together at the, they placed them together. I think they're similar ages. And there's my friend Florence with their granddaughter. And look at how happy they are. She fooled me good. I still haven't got over it. And our food was excellent. Everyone participated and brought some goodie over. I think it went well. And Florence is reading a little few words that she had written for me. All good things, of course. Nothing, nothing bad. But they're a nice group there. That's Ann Landers in the background. And I just laughing, so my friend must have written a little something funny. Once in a while I have a little humor. So this is this is our cake and this is our farewell. Mm -hmm.